my name is Daniel DeSimo. I'm an assistant professor of medicine at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. I'm also a second year infectious disease fellow. The title of the article is Incidence of Infective Endocarditis Due to Virden's Group Streptococci Before and After the 2007 American Heart Association Guidelines. An extended evaluation of the Olmstead County population as well as the nationwide inpatient sample. This article will appear in the upcoming Mayo Clinic proceedings. Infective endocarditis is a severe, life-threatening illness that carries a high morbidity and mortality despite adequate antibiotic and surgical therapies. So prevention of infective endocarditis is always preferred. And since 1955, the American Heart Association have made recommendations for the prevention of infective endocarditis in patients with certain cardiac conditions prior to invasive dental procedures. However, five decades later, in 2007, the American Heart Association recommended a restriction of antibiotic prophylaxis to a very small group of patients who are at the highest risk of a poor outcome if they indeed developed infective endocarditis. This decision was based on the recognition that endocarditis was much more likely to occur and develop from frequent bacteremias that occurred during daily activities such as toothbrushing, flossing, and even chewing food rather than from a single dental procedure such as a tooth extraction, a root canal procedure, or even a dental cleaning. This reduced the number of patients who no longer require prophylaxis by approximately 90 percent. This equates to approximately 5 million Americans each year. There was substantial concern from healthcare providers that there would be a significant rise in endocarditis, namely due to viridin's group streptococci. And the main reason for this is that it most commonly is found in the mouth, and they make up a major portion of the oral flora. Viridin's group streptococci are the primary target for antibiotic prophylaxis. Our goal was to determine the incidence of Viridin's group streptococci endocarditis following the updated 2007 American Heart Association guidelines. The Olmstead County population in Minnesota and the nationwide inpatient sample, which is a national database, were used for data collection. Our major finding, and what I hope you take away from this article, is that despite major reductions in the number of indications for antibiotic prophylaxis for invasive dental procedures, following the 2007 guidelines, both local and national data indicate that the incidence of Viridin's group streptococci endocarditis has not increased. This is a critical finding. Providers can tell their patients with confidence that withholding antibiotic prophylaxis does not leave them in harm's way. And the antibiotics do not reduce the risk of infective endocarditis. Also, taking antibiotics is not benign. Each patient is at risk of side effects every time they take a dose of antibiotics. And these can range from minor side effects to even severe life-threatening illnesses. The next step for this line of research involves going to local dental offices in Olmstead County and determining if clinical practice has changed in accordance with the accepted guidelines from the American Heart Association. We are very excited about this project and I would like to thank Mayo Clinic Proceedings for this amazing opportunity to present our work with you. Thank you very much for watching. We hope you found this presentation from the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our home page is www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you will find access information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about health care at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.